Very nice. Yes, yeah, so there is a bit of a pattern, isn't there? There is. There's a, there's a pattern here with these three movies. <laughs> you know, I can push a button and have foam dumped on that side of the audience. <laughs> It's a lot of fun. I do it sometimes. Uh, you know, I have to say, I, I had not read the uh, the Tolkien classics Neither before. Have I. Before these, you haven't read them? No, I haven't finished That's them. That's insane. I know. What are you talking about? Isn't that terrible? That's so lazy. I, 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 it, well, yeah. I, I started reading them when I got to New Zealand, and then once we started filming, I just the movie took control, right, and I right. couldn't. It seemed, it seemed sort of redundant after. But a you while. know what's interesting is you don't need to have read the books. And what I love about right. these movies are so well made that I love them even when I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> Somebody told me that you still don't really get it. That you well, don't there understand. are times when I'm watching it and I'm totally in the action. Right. And but they're yelling about we must get to Gomdor to steal the bag of Gribble. <laughs> All right, get that bag of gribble. But the Lord King Eisenhower says, hi, between O, and you're just like, whatever, man. And I'm, sure, I'm here. dude, I'm in. I'm here, I'm going with you guys. <laughs> uh, no, they really do draw you in. They're, they're, they're so powerful. I understand you've also, and this is a nice um, side benefit for you, mm -hmm. you've formed very close friendships with your fellow hobbits. Is that right? You guys, are, you guys are very tight. Yes, the hobbits are close. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Light. And we still, it's out. odd, we still refer to ourselves as the hobbits as well. Right, that's, uh, one, that's one tough gang when you guys go out together. <laughs> yes, sir. Let's go kick some ass, come on guys. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where, what do you do, like, what's, uh, uh, cause you've, you've, I mean, do you guys ever go out drinking and just let it all hang out? Yeah, we, it's funny, Dom and I had a drinking contest, Dominic Monaghan, who's mm -hmm. in the film, had a drinking contest, yes, you know. Uh, there's a lot of hobbit love tonight. I, I knew something was up when I was doing the monologue. I noticed everyone in the audience is wearing like a wizard's hat. Yeah, right? Yeah. But then apparently they haven't seen the movie. They don't know what's going on. Exactly. Uh, what, so what's... So what, what's... We, we had a drinking contest. He's English, so he mm -hmm. can handle his alcohol a little bit more than I can. And uh, we had, I think it was like six shots of Jägermeister or something like that's that. A lot of, uh, that's a lot of booze. It is. He won. He won. Um, he won. And we then went to sort of an equivalent of a 7-Eleven in New Zealand uh, just to get provisions for the night, like water, that kind of thing. And I asked for porn and chocolate. Uh, that, that seemed to be the, the best idea at the time. Wow. I, this is, I, I'm, I'm, sure your, I'm sure your publicists love this story, yeah, by I, the way. I, I, I got trash, then I went out looking for porn and chocolate. Yeah. And I just sort of declared, uh, porn and chocolate. And yeah. I, I got I home to Dom's place uh, and dropped the bag of porn and chocolate and uh, went to sleep. Right. I love how it's, 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's a somewhat less magical and noble quest than trying to get the ring back to Mordor. It is. Where are you going? I must go find the porn and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> to send many layers into the cave of 7-Eleven and, uh... Drunk stories are never noble. No, they're never noble. You know? Well, sometimes, occasionally, people do great things when drunk. Uh, <laughs> so listen up, kids. Um, you know what's fascinating is these movies are so popular and they're such a part of the culture that mm. uh, your face is, is everywhere. I mean, it's just every... You're on, you're on a, a coin, is that right? I'm on a coin now. It gets more and more surreal. I'm on the side of a plane. They painted uh, your face on the side of a plane? That's right. Wh wh which plane is this? It's Air New Zealand flights. Okay. Right. Uh, and I've actually flown on that plane, which is even more that's surreal. That's gonna be really strange. It is. When you get on a plane and, oh, there's my face on the... There I am. It's, yeah. Yeah, very odd. Then you say to the stewardess, where's my porn and chocolate? <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> Now, I'm on the, my face is on the plane. Story, didn't I? <laughs> um, you know, I'll never, you'll never hear the end of it now. <laughs> you look... You, you, you look very... Uh, very young, and you've, you've yeah. you know, been on the show uh, before, and you don't seem to get any older, and that's a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, that's a compliment. No, it's You're a, it's just, a good thing. It's a good thing, uh, uh, and, and, and you've stayed very youthful. Is this ever a problem for you? Does it ever cause trouble? It has in the past. It's been a bit annoying at times. It's, it's curbed a few roles that I wanted to get because I was too young for certain roles. Um, there was a funny story, actually, in a hotel at one point. I was staying at the Regency Hotel here in New York mm -hmm. for press last year in Lord of the Rings. And I, I walked into my room, and there was a maid in there. And I said, no, no, I don't, I don't need service right now. I'm fine. And she's like, um, uh, is your mother around? <laughs> uh, could, could I ask your mom? And I was like, yeah. no, actually, this is, this is my room. I'm sorry. Right, right. And she's like, no, no, is your mom around? No, seriously, this is my room. I'm fine. She's like, oh, okay. Right. And so that, she thought I, you know, that my mom, it was my mom's room. And right, right. And the she little better... kid was like, excuse me, can you, uh, <laughs> I don't want service. <laughs> Well, that's annoying right now. Uh, yeah. I, 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 know, I know when I was, uh, it took my, my voice a long time to change. And when I was like, well, it's still in the process. Uh, I still get that. People are like, it's changed? 
but it took my it took my voice a long time. And yeah. I remember when I was, I think I was 18 years old and I was working at some job where I had to answer the phone and the person at the other line was always like, listen, ma'am, could I speak to the person in charge? Still happens. I'm a man! Still happens. Still happens to you? Still happens on the phone. I call people up, yes, ma'am, what, what can I do for you? Right. Uh, Insanity. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be good. That's nice. You just make that sound, uh, which immediately, uh, immediately convinces them you're a man. You're definitely a man. <laughs> yes. That's hilarious. <laughs> Do you ever get, you, you've been mistaken for uh, other celebrities. Is that true? I have. Which, because you've got such a specific look, I find that hard to believe. Who I are you find it kind of hard to believe as well. I've, um, I've gotten Harry Potter quite a lot. <laughs> no. Yes. That's ridiculous. A lot. People say, because you know who gets Harry Potter a lot? Max Weinberg. People think, <laughs> of course. Max, I kind of buy it. He looks, <laughs> Just give, like, him a, give him a wand and a scarf, right. and you know. Right, a little lightning bolt on the head, and he's there you go. sort of a borderline creepy Harry Potter roaming the neighborhood. <laughs> but yeah, I get Harry Potter a lot. It's so strange. In fact, I was in an, uh, an elevator once, and you know that sort of awkward sort of silence in an elevator when it's just you and somebody else? And you're kind of looking at the buttons like, oh, these are very interesting buttons. I'm going right. to ignore this man here. And that was happening. And I could see that the guy was kind of working up the courage to talk to me. Right. Finally, it was sort of bubbling to the surface. And he looked at me and said, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, no. Yeah. And the conversation yeah. was dead from there on out. It's terrible when someone decides, like, I'm just going to go for it. And they're completely wrong. It's such a bummer. They're like, oh, Richie from Happy Days with me. And I'm like. <laughs> No. Yeah. No. No. That's, that's not it. Or when they're completely wrong. Completely wrong. And then they try and retract it and actually correct themselves. Right, right. So they can't admit that they were wrong. I had this once. <laughs> I was sitting at a screening and I was watching a movie and this guy <laughs> tapped me on the shoulder and said, uh, you were really great in Seabiscuit. I just wanted to, to say that. And I, and I said, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not in that film. And he's like, I know. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. You were in Lord of the Rings, and that is a great film. And so is Seabiscuit, a great film as well. Right. And I heard you're friends with Tobey Maguire, and just went on this five minute rant. Just anything to like. Just just, just yeah. anything to save his ass. Right. It right. was absolutely brilliant. I, you know, it's. I would have just said if I had been caught, if you had said no, I'd have said no. I saw you at the screening of Seabiscuit, <laughs> right? and you were a great audience member. <laughs> That's, and then the person would have hit me really hard. You would have hit me. Now, you, you want to, I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard a rumor that you want to build yourself a hobbit house. Yeah. And, and I and say, the reason that I actually think this is a, a cool idea mm -hmm. is that when you see these movies and you see the hobbit house uh, featured, which it's, it's, you actually see a lot of the hobbit house in the, in the first movie. Yep. It looks pretty cool, yeah, you know. Yeah. It's like I, I like the round door, and, and I like the, the round hallways. It's very right. comforting, very very cozy. So you're going to actually think you might build one? I've thought about doing it. Peter Jackson has actually gone and done it. He's taken some of the original set of Bag End from the first movie, transported it to north of, of Wellington, and then extended it. So he's got this massive Hobbit hole. He's he's gone and done it. <laughs> So it's like a giant habit trail kind of thing. Yeah, it's like, and, I believe and he even... scurries around in it. <laughs> <laughs> the phone rings and he's like, ah, it's, it's... he gets off the treadmill and goes over and. It's absolutely brilliant. That Such is so cool weird. I, I don't know. I'd love to see that. So you might do it. You might actually. I was build thinking one. about doing it. It's still in the plans. I say go for it, no matter what the cost. And then you see in the Enquirer, you know, actor <laughs> freaks out. Too close to character, builds Hobbit holes. <laughs> yeah. Leaves Hollywood, lives in, in holes. Demanding anyway. porn chocolate. Everything you've said in this interview uh, it's gonna is, 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 is going to be used. Exactly. Everything Wonderful. here. I love coming on your show. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're here to do, pretty much. Uh, we have a, uh, a clip here uh, from the movie. I want to make sure that the, the, the latest installment, I want to make sure we, uh, we get to this. What do okay. we need to know to uh, appreciate this? I believe that this is a, a scene in which Samwise Gamgee is sort of distrusting of Gollum, mm -hmm. and he starts to attack Gollum because he overhears a conversation that he's having with himself. Um, and Frodo tries to... Gollum's like every other guy in a New York subway. You know? Exactly. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like a guy talking to himself. If Gollum lived in New York and rode the subway, no one, no would, one would say would a thing. At all. God, it wishes that Gollum could get to there. You know, people would be like, yeah, yeah whatever. Pop him, a, pop him a dollar. <laughs> yeah. He'd have a New York Post. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Frodo's trying to basically stop Sam from attacking Gollum because we need Gollum on the journey. You need Gollum, yet at the same time, it's not clear if Gollum's with you or not. This is true. All right, let's take a look at this clip uh, from the Return of the King. Oh, Sam! Leave him alone! I heard it from his own mouth! 
out. He means to murder us. Sabo! Sneed and wooden part to flow! Ah! This horrid, fat horrid, brown speaker that you make so nasty lies. You miserable little maggot! Uh, Don't you hear it? Call me a liar! You're a liar! Ah! Mark, we're lost. I don't care. I can't do it, Mr. Frodo. I won't wait around for him to kill us. I'm not sending him away. You don't see it, do you? He's a villain. We can't do this by ourselves, Sam. Not without a guide. I need you on my side. I'm on your side, Mr. Frodo. I know, Sam. I know. Now, you know... There, uh, we do a lot of, for all my, uh, for all the kidding around we do on this show, these are just incredible movies that I think people oh. are going to be talking about for a long time. Uh, the Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King is in theaters now, as if I have to tell anybody. I can't but... believe it's in theaters. Four years down the, down the line. It's kind of amazing. And uh, this, is it, was it hard to say goodbye? Because theoretically, this is the last one, unless there's some magical way to make <laughs> another one. You another, know? right? Will you guys just take... Token? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you write Dude, where's my ring? You yeah, guys right. like that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, let's go! All the hobbits! Come no, 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 you know. Road trip with the yeah. hobbits. Um, yeah, it was very difficult to say goodbye. It's been an incredible part of our lives. You know, right. we've all made the best of friends. But I think the friendships will go on, and that's sure. the most important thing. Well, I, I hope we see you uh, many times in the future with all your other projects. It's Thank always so great much. having you on the show. Thank Elijah Wood, he's a great guy.